expansion team. All right, welcome everybody, expansion team. This is week five, right? Week five. Um, let's say, let me start, man. Um, everything begins with the Earn Nice Old Podcast. Please like, rate, review, subscribe, share, comment. Um, yeah, um, thanks for all the success that we've been having with Earn Nice Old and with the expansion team, man. We appreciate that. The views on the expansion team and the listens, the plays, the views, the plays, everything has been going up, up and up and up. We appreciate that, man. We appreciate the uh, popularity that we having. But, um, well, first let me say, you know I mean? What's, what's, what's going on with you, bro? How you feel? I'm all right, man. Can't complain. Uh, ready for this weekend. Uh, we got the Phillies in the playoffs. So I'm ready for that. As they say, Red October about to begin. Mm. Um, other than that, man, just um, same on me, man. Okay. All right, man. Before we get in, before we get into what we do, man, um, Ern, let me know about, you know what I mean, some of um, the comments and all that, and what people were saying about the expansion team and all that. Listen, you know what I mean? Because this got to be addressed, even though we say it every goddamn show. Y'all people that's betting, Y'all grown ass people. A lot of y'all grown ass men and grown ass women, but really grown ass men. When we say bet with your head, not over it, right? And we tell you, these are not our lines. These are Vegas lines. Um, when I say who who I feel like is win, that's just my opinion. Y'all gotta at, at the end of the day, y'all gotta bet on whoever y'all want to bet on. You can't bet and then blame us for one. We tell you every goddamn episode, bet with your head, not over it. Y'all can't just bet everything y'all got and then to the point that you can't fucking pay your bills. That's dumb shit. And then you commenting that, okay, you went with our opinion and then it didn't work out and now you can't pay your bills. First of all, if you're, grown, if you're a grown ass person, no. Yo, I'm yo 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 I'm yo I'm I'm dead yo I'm dead serious. I'm not even saying this to be funny, because it's people who are legit complaining. My thing is that's not our responsibility, dog. We don't control what you bet. We tell you every single week, bet with your head, not over it. Some of y'all need to get off this motherfucker. Don't even be bothered with it. You know what I'm saying? Listening to nobody or gambling at all. If you got a problem like that, to the point that you that that you gambling money that you need to fucking live off of and pay your bills with, you don't need to be gambling at all. You could just be like me. The only thing I do is I pick fantasy football. I don't even I don't even gamble. I don't even gamble on sports other than fantasy football. Some of y'all seriously need to check yourselves. Y'all grown ass people. That's not our responsibility. That's y'all responsibility. The bet with your head, not over it. Don't be betting no goddamn money that you need to pay your damn bills with. And then hit us up and say, well, you know, I listened to what they were saying and I ain't pay this bill yet. I ain't pay that bill yet. And I owe this. That's <laughs> on you. What type of shit is that? That's a deeper problem oh, that man. you got with your, not with what you got with yourself. That's why we tell you, bet with your head, not over it. Now, I mean, our opinions are our opinions. These are not our lines. These are not our gambling odds. The only, the, 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 the only opinion I have is who I think is going to win and going to lose. That's my personal opinion. You understand what I'm saying? Other than that, we don't make these numbers up with the over and under and all that. We, we, don't, we, don't make the, we, we don't make these numbers up. I don't do it. We don't do that. These are Vegas odds. But at the end of the day, but that's, but the, but, but, but the bigger problem issue is some of y'all got an issue with y'all self. Y'all don't have no discipline. You can't blame, you can't blame us or anybody else that you hear talk about sports betting and none of that on your lack of discipline. That's your lack of discipline. If you losing money that you can't afford to lose, or you don't, don't know how to prioritize that you bet, you're betting money that you need to live off of. 
There ain't no goddamn way in the world that I'll be betting money that if I lost, now I can't pay my bills or pay my mortgage. I'm not doing that. I don't do that. I bet a couple bucks and really that's that's on that's on playing fantasy football week to week. That's a couple dollars. That's it. If I lose, all my bill, all my bills is already paid. And I don't lose nothing. That's what I lose, man, is probably like more of y'all probably spend more of that more money in a day than I probably lose in a week betting. I might bet $15, $20 a week betting, playing fantasy football. That's it. Some of y'all got deeper issues that don't got a goddamn thing to do with us. So please don't bring that here and blame us for y'all lack of discipline. And I'm so serious when I say that. Because some of y'all got a lack of discipline. That's as a man, you need to be disciplined and you know how to prioritize. Or some of y'all just shouldn't be gambling. Some of y'all just shouldn't be gambling at all. You know what I mean? If y'all gambling promise is, is that serious, go get some help. Or just stop. Cold turkey, just stop. You know what I mean? I had to say that before we get started, man, because there's people that's hitting us up that's like dead serious. I'm like, that don't got nothing to do with, your lack of discipline don't got nothing to do with us. That's your lack of discipline. You know what I mean? Because I'll be damned if I go bet something and I, I can't I can't pay my bills if I lost. You shouldn't have been betting that. You shouldn't have been betting that amount of money. You know what I mean? Listen, man. Listen, bet with your head, not over it. We say that, I say that every goddamn episode, and that's just like, that shit going in one ear out the damn other. Like we talking to kids or something. Talking to grown ass people. Mm. So that's what I gotta say. Bet with your head, not over it. And if you betting, if you betting money that you can lose, bro, man, not not now I mean you need to get some help. Now I mean need need to fall back from gambling altogether. Some not, not I mean some of y'all need to leave this alone altogether then. So I just wanted to say that. Now I mean you got anything to say about that? Uh, no, nah, man, he pretty much hit the nail on the head. Uh, I ain't got much to say with it. I mean, uh, only thing I can say, I don't see why people complaining. It's free. Not like, you know, you paying for these picks. I can see if you was paying for the picks. Some free damn picks. So you lose money, you lose money. Nobody said we, we the best. Nobody said we professionals. No, but that's He's just giving our opinions. No, but it's some people that don't. No, no, I'm talking. About, I'm talking. About, it's, it's 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 a few people that they betting money that they ain't got no business betting. Now everybody else is cool with it. Now I mean, because people praise us when when they win, when they lose, it's like all right. That's why they was like, yo, you ain't got to recap the old games. Now I mean, if I won, cool. If I lost, I lost. Just move on. That's why we only do the recap of last week's games. We just move on because they they was like, you ain't got to do all that. Now I mean, if the game's lost, the game was lost. But it's people that really do <clears throat> hit us up and say that, well, now I can't pay, I can't pay my bill, or I can't pay my whoa, 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 whoa. That's not that's not nothing to do with us. That's you. You ain't got no business betting that. You betting money that you can't afford to lose. But that ain't got to do with us. That's your lack <clears throat> of discipline. That don't got nothing to do with us. That's your lack of discipline. You betting money you can't afford to lose. Yeah. No, I mean, shout, I, I, shout. I, I, yeah, man. No, because we got. I mean, we got more people that 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 that, that rock and roll with us, and they tell us. Now, I mean, most of our picks be on point. Some of them they lose. Now, I mean, everything ain't gonna, ain't gonna be hundred percent correct. But I'm talking about to the ones that no, that's something. Some of y'all just have a lack. Of, some of y'all just got a lack of discipline. Some of y'all betting money that y'all ain't got no business betting. Do not blame that on us. Now I mean, some, hey. now I mean, some of y'all got a real issue that you, that needs to be addressed, and that shit ain't got nothing to do with us. You know what I mean? Some some, mm. some of y'all suffering from a lack of discipline, man. So I mean, like uh, you it's say, an addiction, man. Yeah. It's an addiction. So if you got a problem, it's that deep. I mean, there's numbers out there, hotlines. They could, um, you know, they will help you in this situation. So I mean, that's something that's bigger than us. So I mean, addiction is real. 
And it sounds like those type of people, you know, fall into the category of being an addict. And it's just real talk. Yeah, so, I mean, other than that, man, um, I ain't got too much that I want to talk about before we get into it. I do also, like, um, I do I do want to congratulate, you know what I mean, Colorado, you know what I'm saying, impressive win. Um, like I said, we ain't going to talk about them. We won't be type people that's talk about, you know what I mean, the times that they struggle. You know, the times they doing good, you know what I mean, we going, we got to show them love, you know what I'm saying? So they, very, very impressive win, you know what I mean? They handle business and, um, other than that, um, I ain't got really too much to say about the Eagles because you know Earn do the show, Earn do the um the Eagles show every week. Now I mean he pretty much addressed all of that. So, mm-hmm. so you got anything well, to talk what, about? What do you think about or? um? What you think about Devontae Adams? They saying he, he might get traded. Uh, you know the Raiders are open to trade now. You see a team out there you like? For um, go get him. Um, man, who's going? Who might? Who might trade for him that you might get? He's saying the Jets, the Chiefs, uh, Bills. Yeah, I mean, the Bills, the Bills are the Chiefs, but I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know what the Raiders are asking for, but I don't know if the Chiefs, who would the Chiefs have as far as people that the Raiders might want, unless it's just going to be all picks or something like that and a couple players. But yeah. if, I, if I was... Usually, if, football is all picks, usually, yeah, for the so, most part. Yeah, so if I was if I was the Chiefs, I don't know. It depends on what they're trying to, what they're willing to give up. I know the Chiefs. I know the Chiefs would love to have him. The Chiefs would love to have him, and the Bills would probably love to have him. So it makes sense that them two teams would be interested in him. I don't know what they are willing to give up. Now, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he go to one of them teams. I would not be surprised at all. Now, I mean, if he went to the Chiefs, yeah, that'd be a real problem. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, either team. Now, I mean, either team that would be. That would be crazy. Mm-hmm. I know, and I know he might want to go somewhere where they really have a chance to, you know, get to the Super Bowl team that might, you know, get chances to go really go to the Super Bowl. But um, yeah, now mm-hmm. I mean, it makes sense if they, if they if they go to the Chiefs or the Bills, that would make sense. I would not be surprised. The Jets, I don't know if I would go to the Jets. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, no. I mean, I don't know what type of say so he would have. And if I was them, if if I if I was them, would I be willing to give that up? Because I don't know if you just want to go there just because Aaron Rodgers is there. Because the way he's looking right now, you might need you 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 really might need to, to be moving on from Aaron Rodgers. And I don't know if you want to just give up picks that you might need to you know I guess you know start building. Because I don't mm-hmm. see I don't see I don't see I don't see I don't see Aaron Rodgers playing more than maybe a couple years or something like that. I don't see Aaron Rodgers being like. I don't know. Now I mean, somebody can just hang your hat on. You know what I mean? I just, I wouldn't be surprised he just announces his retirement. Just like, all right, you know what I mean? I won a Super Bowl. I'm going in the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? I'm going in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got the numbers. So what else do I really got to prove to be trying to sit around and then try to do it all over again with the Jets, sitting around with the Jets? I don't see it. So, but yeah, Devontae Adams going to the Chiefs or the Bills. I can see him going to one of them teams. I can see him going to one okay. of them teams. So. If he do, hey. Now I mean, good for him, man. He 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 been a, he been a great receiver, but he was kind of in purgatory. You know what I'm saying? Being over there, he's kind of just kind of mm-hmm. like sitting in purgatory where they not they're not terrible, but they're not you know good enough to be a Super Bowl contender, but they're not terrible. You know, one of them just in 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 the middle like purgatory type teams, man. And you know, they might need they might need to trade him to get the picks so they can kind of you know build 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 up. And they know what what they might be trying to get the picks for. They might be trying to get the picks so they can maneuver and get somebody like Shador or somebody. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they plan is. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, that might be a chess move. Like, yo, we might be to, to get him now. Now, I mean, get we might be to get great value for him now that way we can get Shador. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the point of having Devontae there if you don't have a quarterback that you feel like you need? You know what I mean? You can, you can always build around the quarterback. So who knows? Just... 
this might be a chess move to try to get Shador. They might say we might not have enough to move up to whatever spot we need, but if we trade Devontae, we might be able to not, not maybe be able to will and deal if we don't get the the spot that we need, we might be able to move into the spot that we need. Mm-hmm. No, that's true. Well, that's I mean, I, I think the Jets, I think the Jets, man. I think I think they need to go get them. I know you say you don't think Rogers is gonna be there for more than two years. I don't either, but basically this is an all or nothing year this and next year. So they might as well go out there and get the ball. You know what I mean? Trade Reddick, because they got Reddick, I saw Reddick from the Eagles. He ain't played for the Jets yet. He holding out. Trade his ass to uh, Raiders. Hopefully he get his money over there. Uh, get some more draft picks. I, I don't know. I just feel like they got to go all in, man. And it won't take no time for him and Rodgers to start connecting. I mean, I ain't saying they're going to be like putting up 100 catches and all that, but because they do got Wilson. But I, I, I learned to see him go there. The Chiefs, um, they, they, they need him because they just lost their receiver, uh, Rice. But they also got Hollywood Brown coming back from injury. I mean, I feel like they're going to win without trading for Adams. And the Bills, I feel like they just got their own new direction of trying to do young receivers, you know what I mean? Um, that's why they trade digs. I feel like they're trying to build organically and not pay a lot of money for the receivers, you know what I mean? Uh, since they pay a lot of money to Josh Allen already. So I think it's just it's a team, I think, on, you know what I mean, get them. There's some other team, they're talking about Pittsburgh, uh, maybe. I don't like that for Adams because, you know, it's like Pittsburgh never had no good passing offense since, not since Ben Roethlisberger. So I really would. I wouldn't want to go there if I was Adams, but I hope Dallas get them. It's Jerry talking all that. You know what I mean? Shit, and beginning the offseason, talking about we all in. That's the type of move we should do, but I don't see us doing that. But, you know, that's a big chance. I mean, big piece, um, Adams, and whoever get him, he's going to add tremendous value to the team, and I'm looking forward to seeing where he go. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> Hey, hey, one more thing, you know what I mean, before you start. You see the basketball, you know what I mean, starting up preseason. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Tobias Harris moved on. I was just wondering when he come back to Philly, he going to have his own video tribute. You know, they had some tribute videos, and they come back to the old team and shit. Hey. You think he going to get one? Um, They probably would, you know what I'm saying? They probably would because, you know, um, you gotta be decent about it. You know what I mean? Um, they would, but to tell you the truth, I ain't even been focused on basketball the last couple of years. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I have not. Mm-hmm. Been, I have paid damn near no attention to basketball. I mean, everybody's all for one. Uh, rest in peace to Matumbo. Um, mm-hmm. He put in some work when he was here in the six. Not, not me for the Sixers. You know what I'm saying? So, um, mm-hmm. not me. Rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to um, John Amos. Know what I mean? James Ellis for good times. Mm-hmm. He passed away. Rest in peace, uh, Pete Rose. You know what I'm saying? A few people passed away, man. You know what I mean? Wow. You know what I mean? It's been a few people that passed away, man. But um, yeah. I mean, if the Sixers do that, that'd be great. But right now, man, we gotta see what we can do with um now that Paul George is here. We gotta see if the I mean, we gotta see what we can do, man. For the East, and then you know, Carl Anthony Towns just got to the Knicks, so I know now. I mean, a lot of people are excited about mm-hmm. that. Now I mean, everybody know that's that's from New York. Now I mean, they excited about that. What they can do, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, man. That's yeah, I ain't worried about that. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. Joel usually be, I mean, giving them giving them business, so they can have them. See, so, but that's what everybody's saying. That. Everybody's saying when he get here. Because that's what they were saying, man. Um, shout out to the content creators that um that I uh, listened to. You know what I mean? I was just I was listening to content creators uh, say that um Gully Gully TV and um and uh Zip with the Drip. They were just talking about that, like yo, he he in, he in the same conference as you know Joel and B now, so he got to really you now I mean, he gonna go up against. That's probably gonna be the main person he got to go up against. So 
But yeah, man, man, congrat, congratulations to them, man. All the people I know that's from New York, that's uh, that's hyped. Know what I'm saying, that's hyped about. Know what I mean, basketball for them. Know what I mean, because you know, for a long time they was in, the Knicks was in purgatory for a long time. So, you know, man, congrats, <clears throat> congratulations to y'all. Know what I mean, everybody, everybody that's a Knicks fan that's from New York and all that. That, you know, they finally get something to be like excited about. You know what I mean? I feel that. So, that's what's up. You got that. I mean, as sports fans, I don't, I don't bang with New York, so you got it, man. Yeah. I don't wish them good luck. But I mean, I'm just saying it. because I know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, it's been people that for for as long as I've known them, they they the Knicks been in like just 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 in the middle, just stuck in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah. I mean, back. I mean, they did have some like they was like excited back. You know, you know, you know when Carmelo joined the team and all that, but. You know, you know, it didn't really happen for them. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, some people that they just been, man, I know people that just true blue Knicks fans, dog. That's like they've been suffering for a long time. Like, all right, they got they had mellow, but then they couldn't really get it done then. And then now, but now they excited again. So just you know what I mean, shout out to them, man. You know what I mean? Just like I say, is the, the the people I know that's from um Boston and all that, you know what I mean? When they when the Celtics finally won, you know, the Celtics and Sex and Sixers. They've been going at it for years, but the people I know from Boston, mm-hmm. the people, they're not, not mean the the, the the people I know from Boston that that's like true fans. I, I was like, all right, man, congratulations to y'all because, you know what I mean, y'all y'all ain't get it since you know KG and them was there. So, you know what I mean. I'm talking about the 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 true fans, like not not the fair weather people that oh they winning now we gonna start caring. No, I know people that care when they was. When they was doing, now, now I mean, them teams doing bad. When when the Knicks was doing, you know what I mean? They wasn't doing good. I know, like true blue fans. Now I mean, not just when they winning, that's when he care. You know what I'm saying? No, I know some people that really, really care, even when it, when they teams not winning and they still dedicated. So, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I give it, no, I, 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 I give it up to him, man. I, mean, I give it up to him. So. You know what I mean? Just like I know people that's from Buffalo. I know people that's from Buffalo that they suffered for years, man. They suffered for years. And then when Buffalo got good again, congratulations to them. Because I know the people that they was they was riding for Buffalo back when Buffalo was, you know what I mean? Wasn't doing good. I know people that was San Fran fans that was. So where my sympathy? What, what's he going to all these teams and cities and shit? Dallas, what you mean? What do you mean I've been suffering for 25 years, 30 years? I mean, um. I mean, but all right. I mean, nah, so. nah, I, I, mean I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know if I can get that to the Cowboys fan. I mean, I can admit when they when they play good, when they not, you know what I'm saying? I can I can do that. But yeah, you know what I mean, you've been a true blue Cowboys fan. I mean, I never I mean, I mean, I understand why you was a Cowboys fan because you like football, you was running back and Emmitt Smith, you loved Emmitt Smith. So I kind of halfway mm-hmm. give you a pass. On being a Cowboys fan, because I understand where where that comes, where where you being a fan of them comes from. But some people just I just don't know where it came from. I have no clue where it came from. I understand a lot of people that that I know. You know, they were they were San Fran fans because they might have grew up in the Midwest where they didn't have no football team when they was from. So you just picked the team. You know what I mean? I know people that's they they work here, they live here in Philly, but they're from Pittsburgh, so they're Steelers fans. You know what I mean? I know people that was from Buffalo, but they moved down here. But they were they were born in Buffalo, so they're Buffalo fans. So it was like some people I understand mm-hmm. why they're here, but they like their team, or because they might be from there, or they might they, they might have been from a place where they were born in a place that didn't have no pro team. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. So yeah, but I don't understand the people that's been born and raised here their whole life, but then. They were Cowboys fans or something like that. Are fans of another team? Like you were born and raised here your whole life. How 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 you fan? How you a fan of somebody else? I can understand some other people. Some people I know that they're from places where it wasn't no team. You know what I'm saying? They from like the Midwest and stuff like that where it wasn't no team. So they just picked the team that they liked that came on TV and they just picked them. So, but anyway, now mm-hmm. we want this joint to run too long. I'm saying we trying to get into it. <laughs> Yeah. Now we're gonna try to get into it, man. So you know, like I said, man, this is week five. Um this is week five, so you know you can start when you're ready. <clears throat> All right, we got the first game on Thursday night. We got Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to play the Atlanta Falcons. 
Atlanta Falcons is one half point favorites. Total is 43 and a half. It seems like Atlanta have been only like three primetime games already this year. Kind of getting tired seeing you know. them. But anyway, Tampa Bay is three and one. Atlanta is two and two. Uh, I feel like Tampa Bay has been playing really good. Uh, but something just telling me that Atlanta should be able to come away with a win. Um, it's a tough game to call because, like I said, you know, Tampa, they just been consistent over this last um, year or so. And Atlanta still got to prove itself. Kirk Cousins still not all the way acclimated with, with the team. And, you know, it seemed like he's not connecting, you know, not clicking all certain cylinders as far as, as far as the passing game. So it's kind of a, a leap of faith that I'm picking the land right here. But, you know, dumb being home, um, usually Thursday night games, the home team has an advantage. They don't got, they don't like to travel or whatnot. So I'm just kind of leaning toward the land. I just think they're going to find a way to win it. The over-under... Um, I already can't call. If I had to pick one right now, I will pick the under. But um, like I said, I already have no strong opinion on that. But I think Atlanta will find a way to win this game. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Um, yeah, man. Um, yeah, 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 Tampa Bay, of course, coming off the win from the e- uh, playing the Eagles, man. For some odd reason, man. It's like Baker Mayfield just got our number, man. But um, man, yeah, I feel like they gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, cause I I kind of I kind of feel the same way. I do feel like Atlanta is going is going to end up beating them, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, Atlanta beat the gonna beat the Eagles and Tampa Bay beat the Eagles, but then and then Atlanta, but then Tampa lose the yeah. I just feel like it's gonna go that way. <laughs> I do. I just feel. Yo, I just feel like it's just gonna go that way. I, you know what I mean, I can't mm-hmm. tell you the type of game it's gonna be. If it's gonna be a close game, I don't know. If it's gonna come down to a field last second field goal. I don't know if Atlanta just gonna win the whole time, but because I know because people gonna already jump on Tampa Bay because the way that they've been, you know what I mean, the way they've been winning, especially the way that they handled the Eagles. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I do feel like Atlanta is bound for another win. I do feel like Atlanta mm-hmm. is down for another win, even though I you know I like I actually like Baker Mayfield. I actually do. I know I know a lot of people don't mm. like him, but I don't even think that's because of like football ability. They I guess they just felt like he did, his like attitude or his personality just rubbed people the wrong way. Especially people like still carrying that from like college. You know what I'm saying? Some people just didn't like mm-hmm. him in college, like the way his personality, like the way he felt like he had an ego and all that. But I always kind of liked them, so I mean, I always liked them. So, but I don't. It, it do just feel like Atlanta just would just would, would just find a way to win this game. Okay. It does just feel like Atlanta yeah, right. will find a way to win this game. I ain't saying it's gonna be a pretty game and it's gonna be some shootout and all that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know about all that, but mm-hmm. I do think. But I'm with you. I, I think, I think Atlanta will find a way to win this game. So that's all I'm going with Atlanta. All right. Uh, Sunday morning, it's time to wake up early. We got a game over there in London. We got the New York Jets playing the Minnesota Vikings. Mm. Vikings are um, two and a half point favorites. Total is 40 and a half. Um, first thing that caught my eye is uh, over under 40 and a half. I thought that was kind of low. Um, so automatically, I'm kind of leaning towards the under, just off the number. Um, maybe the Jets defense will, you know, come to play like the normal standards. Uh, Minnesota defense has been much improved, so I can't see it being um, staying under that four and a half point total. Um, as far as the winner, I feel like Aaron Rodgers. Um, I thought for sure he's gonna win last week against Denver, um, but shout out to Denver, they played well, man. So I think they're gonna have to rebound off this. Um, but who knows? Maybe they'll lose, and then that will make them want to trade for Devontae. Uh, so it's not really guaranteed that the Jets will win this game right here. 
So I think I'm going to lean towards Minnesota. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, man. I'm 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 gonna say I'm gonna go with Minnesota, but my main play here is the under, um, under forty and a half points. Like I said, it just really caught my attention, and we got two real good defenses, so I'd like it to be under the forty and a half points. Hmm. Damn, man. Um, is Minnesota the um the hottest team in football right now? Can you say that about them? Because I mean, the Chiefs ain't they, lost neither, right? Yeah, they they but it's like the way that they too. the Chiefs like the way that they they don't seem like they doing just be winning. They kind they kind of like stagger their way to a win. You know what I mean? They don't seem like they just be winning. They kind they kind of like stagger their way to a win. You know what I mean? They just always like end up pulling it off. But Minnesota has been playing, man. I don't know if I mean Sam Sam Darn has got his second win or he got his his second chance or whatever, but um, mm-hmm. they ain't playing good, man. They have been playing good, so yeah, I do think Minnesota is gonna win this game. Like you said, now nah, I mean you said they got two good defenses, so you don't think it's gonna be some super high scoring game, but yeah, I mean I I wouldn't I would not be surprised if it was if it was just some like I don't know seventeen ten. 2010 type of game. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if it was that. So, mm-hmm. so I am also going to pick, you know what I mean, Minnesota to win. So, yeah, that's that. All right. Uh, next, we got uh, Carolina Panthers, Sam Darnold, former team, uh, going against Chicago Bears. The Bears are three and a half point favorites. Total is 42. Um, obviously, Andy Dalton, ever since he came in, Carolina's offense has been looking uh, at least competent. You know, they're not – I mean, they came down to reality this last game as far as putting up a whole bunch of points. Mm-hmm. So, um, they're not a dumpster fire offense. Mm-hmm. So, I got to respect them. But I don't know why I keep – Picking Cato Williams, you know what I mean? I feel like he's, he has to broke out. Like, you know, Jaden Daniels obviously broke out. So, I mean, Williams still hasn't shown me his potential yet. Um, I keep waiting for that game for it to click. And it just hasn't happened yet. So, you know, shame on me for keep picking on every damn week. So this week I'm not, and it's going to be a week he's going to do his thing. I'm going to pick Carolina, cover the three and a half points. Um, as far as the total, 42, I can, I want to say I can see it going over. But, you know, what, what's Kayla Williams going to do? Um, is he going to show up? So I'm kind of leaning towards the under. So my pick here is Carolina, the cover the three and a half points. They might not win. They might lose by three three points. But I like Carolina, cover the three, three and a half. And I like the under. Mm. Hmm. Carolina, man. This is this sounds like a game that Chicago that Chicago could should win. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. I did say I, I expect Carolina to win like like three games this season. This might be another one mm-hmm. of the game. This might be another one of the games. Chicago should win though. You know what? See, but then people don't like when I be like on the fence. I, because I do think Carolina is going to win like three games this season. At least they're going to they will win at least three games. And this just feels like it's going to be one of them. But then Chicago, see Chicago. I'm going to go with Carolina to win, also win this game. I'm going to go with Carolina to win this game. Okay. That's it. I'm just going to go with Carolina. I think Carolina is going to win at least three games this season. At least three. This might be another one of them. I mean, this might be another one of them. So I'm just going to go with Carolina. All right. Respect that. I like um, this next game. We got an AFC North matchup. We got the Baltimore Ravens playing the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. Baltimore, three point favorites. It totals 50 and a half. Hmm. Um, you know, Baltimore being three points favorite on the road, that obviously caught my attention right away. Um, I understand Baltimore is two and two, Cincinnati's one and three, so 
I get that. Um, the total also caught my eye right away. Uh, uh, 50 and a half. I mean, I don't know. I guess Cincinnati defense hasn't played all that well this year besides the Kansas City game. So I guess I kind of get it. But when I see Baltimore games, I mean, usually like their point total should be 45 to 48 points. Uh, 50 and a half is a lot. Uh, but maybe it's a lot for a reason. So I'm leaning towards the over. As far as the actual game, I feel like Cincinnati needs to put his uh, imprint on the season, show that they're working their way back to being a good team. So I'm going to ride out with Cincinnati here, the underdog, plus three. And um, the total, like I said, I'm leaning towards the over a little bit just due to the fact that it's just a high-ass number. So you said you going with you going with the the, the over is the, I mean the number is, is fifty yeah. or something. So you going with the over? Just I think it's just one of them times where Vegas is trying to trick us. Yeah, I'm going with the over. I mean I don't like the over personally, but just the number just caught my eye. I feel like it's probably high for a reason. So you think it's going? Do you think the game going to be in some type of shootout? Yeah, well, I mean that's just. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, the numbers tell me that. Yeah, man, I I do think that Joe Burrow is due for a breakout game. I do feel like that. You know what I mean? I do feel like he's just due for a breakout game. When him, him and Jamar Chase mm-hmm. can, can can connect two, three times, you know what I mean? In in the same game. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's I don't know if that's this game, but yeah, see, you're expecting a shootout. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah, cause I, I, hey, yeah. Can you will you be? Can you hear me right now? Huh? Can you hear me right now? or No. Yeah. All right, cause I feel like my uh, my my earphones is, is dying on me. So I'm going to use a speaker. So let me know if it sound too messed up. I mean, it sound it sounds different, but you can still hear you. Hear you, still hear you. All right. Yeah, but um, yeah, I do think it might be a game. I don't know. The game might be twenty one, thirty one, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Could possibly be a game like that. But I do think that. <sighs> mm, I think Baltimore going to win. I'm going to go with Baltimore. See, but I also think that Joe Burrow is due for a breakout game. But at the same time, he can still throw for three, four touchdowns and they can still lose. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's like that. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw for three or four touchdowns, but they still lost. I would not be surprised if it was one of them type of games. Where he put up crazy Mm -hmm. numbers, but they still lose. So I'm going with Baltimore. Yeah, I'm gonna go with okay. Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with Baltimore. I'm, I'm gonna go with Baltimore, but I wouldn't be surprised if Joe Burrow have a great game, but they just can't get the win. I wouldn't be surprised. So that's what I'm going. With. That's what I'm going with. All right. Next, we got a rematch game of Buffalo Bills are going down to Houston. So the rematch of Stephon Diggs going against his former team. Buffalo is one point favorite. Totals 47 and a half. Um, now this with this game, the total caught my eye 47 and a half. Um, I thought this would be in the 50s. The total is uh two good offenses. Um, so just the number alone, you know, got me leaning towards the under, but um, I wouldn't really bet on it because I do think this could be a explosive uh game as far as points. Um, but as far as the winner, I feel like Buffalo, I don't know, man. I feel like Buffalo should go down there and make it a good game. They got a Bears last week against Baltimore. I feel like they're going to do what they have to do to get this win. I think this is probably going to be one of It's a lot of good games. Not a lot, but these two games right here are good games. The Baltimore game and this game. 
These should be real good games. Um, I just think Buffalo's going to find a way to win, man. Houston, I think, will put up points as well. That's why I said I really like the I like the over, but the numbers just scare me. You know, but um, yeah, I just think Buffalo gonna find a way to win at the end, man. So I like Buffalo to win it. As far as the total, um, I wouldn't bet on the total. But if I had to, y'all made me pick, I would pick the under just because of the number. See, night Vegas trying to sucker people to take the overs since it's so low, and then it's gonna be uh the game, but. I mean, I don't know. This is what I, my first instance. So, I like Buffalo and I like the under. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Buffalo probably going to end up winning this game. I would like for Houston to win this game. I just, I just like Houston, man. I do like Houston, but, and then the same time, is, is, it, in, is it in Buffalo or in Houston? It's at Houston. Yeah, it's in Houston, man. Stefan Diggs going up against his former team. I know he's going to want the ball. And I know that might be, they might kind of like get off of like, get out of character by like, okay, he's going to get his former team, so we got to make sure he get the ball. You know what I mean? That way he might start forcing stuff because you might want him to be able to play well against his, you know, know I mean? his former team, and that might be a mistake. Uh-huh. So I do think that they might make that, unfortunately, they might make that mistake of just trying to constantly force feed him the ball because they want to see him do good against his former team instead of just playing, you know what I mean, just playing their game. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it, 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 can, it can turn into that. So I'm going to go with the Bills. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Bills, man. I would love for Houston to win, but I'm going to go with the Bills. I think that unless... Because if you just start trying to force the ball to him just because he's going against his former team, that could be bad for y'all. Let's say you know you throw a couple, inter- I mean, throw a couple interceptions. You trying to force the ball to him, throw a couple interceptions or something like that, and then let's say you know you in you you in trouble. So, um, I'm I'm just gonna go with the Bills to win. I'm gonna go with the Bills. You know, my heart is with Houston. I I, I gotta go with the Bills. All right. All right, next we got a AFC match, AFC South match matchup. We got the Indianapolis Colts going against Jacksonville Jaguars and Jacksonville. Jacksonville is minus two and a half point favorites. Total is 46 and a half. Man, he, both these teams have been unimpressive to me. Colts is two and two. Jaguars 0 and 4, looking for their first win. So obviously, you know, I always I've been saying it for the last few weeks, and I just said it the last two games. Um, something caught my eye. So Jaguars have a one yet, and they two and a half point favorites. Um, that just caught my eye immediately. I would have thought the Colts would be the favorite. Um, maybe it's because you don't know Anthony Richardson's status. He um didn't finish the game last week. He had, uh, I want to know what's the shoulder injury. I forgot what type of injury, but Joe Flacco finished the game for him. So maybe that's why. They don't know if he's going to play or not. But just off the rip, that caught my attention. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's time for them Jaguars to finally get their win. But I can't put no money on them, especially if Richardson is going to play. But even if he doesn't play, because Flacco is a acceptable backup. So I'm going to pick the Colts. You know, that number, though, caught my attention, man. I I think this is a very sneaky game as far as betting. Um, that number just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why Jackson feels favorite. Um, the total, I have no opinion on 46 and a half, especially since we don't know if Richard is going to play or not. Mm-hmm. So I already have no opinion on that. But I think Colts will find a way to win this game, whether it's Flacco or Richardson. Um, I think the Colts will find a way to come through with the victory. Mm. I think Jacksonville is bound 
full win. This might be the game. This might be the game, and you're going to see Trevor Lawrence is going to look like what people think he should look like. You know what I mean? Because he the, the, the potential is there. The talent is there. All that is there. So I think they're bound to win the game, and I just think they're bound to win this one. So I'll go with Jacksonville to win this one. I'm just going with Jacksonville to win this one. So I'm I'm going Jacksonville. I think he's just bound to win the game. This, this, we got to start somewhere. They're going to win a few games. I think this is going to be one of them. All right. I definitely can see, you know, like I said, them being favored. It probably be favored for a reason, so I can see that happening. Um, next, we got an AFC East matchup. We got the Miami Dolphins going up to New England area to play the Patriots. Patriots is one point favorite. Total is 35 and a half. Uh, both teams is one and three. Still no two of it going to be this week. Um, last week it was Huntley at quarterback for them. I don't know if they still going to go with him or go back to Skylar Thompson. But I guess at this point it doesn't matter. Um, Miami got Bears last week against Tennessee. I don't know, man. This this game is a dumpster fire, obviously. Um Looking towards the under thirty five and a half. Uh, I don't know the weather in Boston, but usually fall time might be rain or something. It might not be good weather, but I don't know. I didn't take the weather report, uh, so don't quote me on that, people. Um, but um, I think the Dolphins going to find a way to get the win. You know, I'm rooting for New England. I like Mayo, the coach down there. So I'm rooting for them, but I think Miami's going to find a way to get the win. It was embarrassed last week, um, as was the Patriots, but I don't know, man. You know what? Let me change it. I ain't going to pick Miami. I'm going to pick New England. I'm just going to rock out with Mayo. I got no real strategy towards it. It's dumpster fire game. If anything, pick the under. I'm sure that's going to hit. So I like the Patriots and the under. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to pick the Patriots, too. Um, you said pick the under. What's the number again? 35 and a half. 35 and <laughs> a half. Pick the under. Man, yeah. Yeah. That, it's low as hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they expecting that to be. Because the Patriots ain't really trying to score no real points. They be, they, yeah, 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 they might win a. It might be a mm-hmm. four, 14 10 game. You know what I mean? One of them type mm-hmm. of games, a 14 10 game, a 13 10 game, or something like that. Winning win a field goal in a game 10 13 or something like that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is one of them games. But um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with the Patriots. I'm also going with the Patriots. All right. Uh, the last one o'clock game of the afternoon, we got the Cleveland Browns. Going to play the Red Hot Washington Commanders and Jaden Daniels. Washington is three and a half point favorites. Totals 44 and a half. Man, Cleveland is not playing well. Hasn't played well all year offensively and defensively for the most part. I can't pick Cleveland. I'm going to just ride, ride out with Watson. Um, they're hot right now. Daniels looking unstoppable. So, I mean, I already don't see no reason to pick Cleveland. Watson is a scale of himself. You know, um, until he proves me otherwise, um, I, I already can't back him. They're going to get their wins here and there, but um, it's, he's just not consistent enough for my liking. So, I'm going to pick Washington. Uh, total, it seems like most Washington games going over. So it's kind of seen that they do go under, um, but I really had no strong opinion on that. So I like Washington and the under, but this is the game that I'm not that strong on, but that's my picks. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Commanders. Hey, man, Commanders is – they playing solid, you know what I mean? So, uh, so I – 
So 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 now that's another team that that the Eagles going to be worried about. They not just going. I'm not, I'm not just going to be no guaranteed wins. I mean, they ain't really no never get no no guaranteed wins with no division opponents. But um, yeah, the Browns is what I say. What what do we say to say they are underperforming the people's expectations? You know what I mean, especially what happened last year. They kind of took a step back. Yeah. They have took a step back, man. I think Washington is starting. I would, of course, stay in the Eagles division, so I would love for the Browns to beat to beat Washington, man. They do us a favor and beat them. But um, Washington might win this one, man. Even though I, I would hope that they lose. I hope they lose, but I think they're going to win. So I have to go to watch. I have to go watch, and even though I hope they lose, because that'll help the Eagles out, man. Especially as us losing, but um, mm, yeah, I hope they lose, but I think they're gonna win. But I hope they lose. Let me end it with I hope they lose. Okay. Uh, next we got an AFC West matchup. A uh, matchup that's not. To a pillar, we got the Las Vegas Raiders going to Denver to play the Broncos. Broncos are two and a half point favorites. Totals thirty six points. I don't think Adams is going to play this week. I think he's dealing with some type of injury. Um, so on Peyton Broncos has been looking better. I believe they won two games in a row. Um, you know the Denver, they're the better team right now. Uh, Vegas offensively, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think both teams offensively is that good. That's why the total is thirty six. Um, Denver's defense is super good. Shout out to Vance Joseph. He's the defensive coordinator there. I don't think he gets enough credit. He was the head coach, I believe, in Denver years ago, or was it Arizona? I think it was Denver. He's head coach. Only for a year, then he fired, fired him after that year. He didn't really get no, you know, time to prove himself. But he's doing a hell of a job of defensively. Um, I think Sean Payton definitely um, needs to thank him for carrying the team while the offense getting they stuck together. But I'm gonna pick the Broncos to win the game. Mm. They should cover the two and a half points. The total is 36. Um, usually low totals, I have to pick the under, um, but I'm not that strong on it, but I'm leaning towards the under, but definitely Denver should come away with the win here. Um, they, they probably went by a touchdown, so I just think they're the better team at this time, and um, yeah, it's going to be the game that's going to send Devontae Adams over the, over the wall, and he's going to be gone by next week. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the, um, the joint just showed, showed up on my phone, the alert. Raiders wide receiver Devontae Adams has requested a trade out of Las Vegas. And then I got another joint that says, Bill's linebacker Von Miller has been suspended four games for violating the league's personal conduct policy. What happened with that? Mm. I ain't hear nothing about that. Do you know anything about that? Four games? No, I don't, personal conduct. I don't know anything about it, but that's usually personal conduct. Um, ain't that like um, she got in trouble at home or domestic issue or something? I don't know. No, they don't say personal per- conduct. Four games though. You suspended four games. I ain't hear nothing about. I ain't hear nothing about. I mean, I ain't really been on my phone like that, and I ain't been on ESPN or nothing like that today. But that, but that, that, that just popped. That popped up on my phone. I don't even know. I ain't even know nothing about that. I mean, I don't know what's going on yeah. with that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, me neither. To oh, be honest. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can Google it real quick. You know what I mean? But he he's been underperforming this year, you know. Anyway, I mean, I don't know if they're gonna really miss him. I haven't noticed him making those splash plays out there. Hmm. Yeah. So. Let me see. See, then it says the NFL did not reveal the reason for the suspension. Mm. It says the NFL didn't let him. You know what I mean? He suspended four games, but the NFL mm-hmm. ain't letting it out. You know what I mean? Why? So, I mean, y'all can probably, y'all can probably use personal conduct. So, 
Yeah, who knows why, man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's. I mean, I, I mean, let me not speculate. I ain't even gonna say what I think it might be. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, yeah, the NFL ain't ain't, ain't, ain't letting nobody know why. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that just popped up. I ain't even know nothing about that. But um, yeah, man, what 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 where were we at? Um, the Raiders in Denver. Yeah, the Raiders in Denver, man. Um. I don't even want to choose this game at all, dude. I don't know. Like <laughs> Raiders in Denver. Um, you say you think the Den- you, you think Denver gonna end up winning? Yeah. Who's the quarterback for Raiders? Is, is, it, is it still Minshew? Is Minshew still the quarterback for the Raiders? Yeah. I, see, I, yeah, it's still. See, I like Minshew though. I like him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think the Raiders I'm going to pick the Raiders you know what I mean I'm just going to pick the Raiders I'm going to pick the Raiders just because I'm just going to pick the the Raiders I'm going to pick the Raiders just because All right, I respect that man next we got uh, another 4 o'clock game we got Arizona going to San Fran to play the 49ers 49ers 7.5 point favorites Total 49 and a half. <laughs> That's funny. The total is 49 for the 49ers game. That's mm-hmm. funny. But anyway, um, uh, I like the 49ers, obviously. I think they're going to win, but I think the Arizona will cover the seven and a half point. Um, they've been embarrassed last week. I can't remember what they lost to, but it wasn't close, to be honest. But Watson, Watson went down there and, you know, went and hit big bug into them. So I think Arizona's gonna cover the seven and a half points, bounce back. I'm not gonna say they're gonna win a game, but um, I think they will keep it within the touchdown um length. So the total obviously Arizona games, I think a lot of them usually go over. So I'll lean towards the over, but I'm not too strong on that opinion. The main main opinion here is I think Arizona will keep it close and um I don't know if they're going to win it. And then with 49ers, you never know the injury status. You know McCaffrey not playing. But it seems like every week is somebody hurt not playing on, any, on you know, Samuel, Akero, Trent Williams. Just saying there's always somebody. So I feel like it's going to be the same thing this week. So I think Arizona's going to cover the seven and a half. And total, I'll lean towards the over. Mm. Um. Arizona is. I don't. I don't know if Arizona are they not playing to what people thought they could could possibly be, or I don't know. I can't remember. If people thought that they were going to like take like some steps back. I don't know. But Arizona, just, just feel like this is an upset game. I, I think Arizona might be the upset them. Mm-hmm. I just I, I I don't know I just feel like I feel like Arizona might just be able to upset them this game. You know what I mean? Because you starting to have like these numbers, they San Francisco plus what seven and all that. Like they just super duper unstoppable. I just I just don't I just don't see that. They're good, but I don't think that. Yeah, I think that I think this is a game that Arizona could just possibly win. You know what okay. I mean? I just think that you can just get the win. I'm 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 rolling with Arizona on this one. All right. Uh next we got Green Bay going to LA to play the Rams. Green Bay is three point favorites on the road. Totals forty eight. Um Green Bay is two and two. The Rams are one and three. Hmm. Um Jordan Love just came back last week that they lost to Minnesota. Uh, so obviously he got his feet uh, wet again. So I think he should be better from the gate starting off this game. So I kind of like the over. I'm surprised it's not a little bit higher. But I'll lean towards the over. And I think L.A. should be able to keep within the field goal. But just that spread alone, the three-point favorites on the road, I mean, I don't know, that kind of caught my attention. Um, but me personally, I think the Rams should be able to keep it within the field goal, um, you know, game, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to pick Green Bay to cover the three. 
win a game comfortably, and I'm leaning towards the over 48 total um, point um, over. But Green Bay has to bounce back. They had to win this. Um, so does the Rams. But I, I think the Rams still got a lot of in- injuries. Puka, um, the receiver, I still don't think he's back. I just think they're just going to keep fighting up here. So I like Green Bay to win this game. Mm. You said the Rams is one and three? Yeah. Yeah, so I think they bound to win the game. Mm. I think they bound to win the game. So I'm 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 gonna go with the Rams. I'm gonna go with the Rams because they won in three, and I don't think they're gonna go to one and four. Mm-hmm. I think they'll find a way to win this game. Okay. I think they'll find a way to win this game. I'm, 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 I'm only picking the Rams based on the fact that they won in three, and I think that they'll, they're just gonna win this game because of that. I don't think they're gonna go to one and four. I think, yeah, I think they, yeah, I'm just going with the Rams just, just based off that. So, to y'all listening to me, y'all, y'all might want to skip this one and not, not listen to nothing I'm saying on this one, but cause that's the only reason I'm going with the Rams. So that's the only reason I'm going with the Rams. I'm going with the Rams on that one. All right. Uh, the last four o'clock game of the day, we got the Giants going up to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Seahawks are six point favorites. Totals 43 and a half. Uh, Giants are one and three. Seahawks are three and one. Lost their first game last week against Detroit. Uh, Geno Smith looked good in that loss. I mean, he was just throwing darts out there. He was over, over played, overshadowed by golf. You know, going eighteen for eighteen. So, but then obviously, you see how lost. So nobody talk about. But I thought Geno looked real good out there. And um, I don't know, man. I just feel like. Seattle's a team that I know I don't really think about that much, you know, but I think they're a good team. Um, it's time for me to put some respect on their name. Um, something's telling me Giants could keep it close, but I'm just can't stand the offense. So I'm going to rock out with Seattle here. The total, um, I already have no opinion on. I mean, I guess if I, you made me pick, I guess I'll pick the over. But I already had no opinion on that. Um, don't 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 take my opinion on the total. I just think Seattle will do what they do, and um, at the end of the day, they'll win by at least a touchdown. It might be close during the whole game, but somehow, some way, at the end, their talent will do what they have to do, and you know, win by at least a touchdown. Hmm. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, man. Shout out to Geno Smith, man. Um, you know, for the second win in the NFL. I mean, he turning out. I mean, he getting an opportunity. He's showing the potential that everybody felt like he had when he's coming out of college. And I'm just glad he's getting that opportunity, man. So, mm-hmm. shout out to him. Um, yeah, man. We need. I need Seattle to win, obviously, because you know. Then I mean the Giants and the Eagles division. So, I, and I mean, I really, I really appreciate it if uh, Seattle won. That would do us a favor. That do us a, a huge favor, man. Um, yeah, I think Seattle can do it. Hopefully, they will. Like I said, and I mean, please do the Eagles this favor. We are right, 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 staggering and limping into the bye week ourselves, man. So we really, we need the Browns. We we need the Browns in Seattle to handle business and help us out. So, I'm going with Seattle. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We definitely need them to win this game, even though Giants and you know, they trash anyway. So, I mean, even if they did win, I, I don't feel them getting no momentum. But definitely, we need to see Seattle to win, take care of business. Next, we got the Sunday night game. We got America's team, Dallas Cowboys, going to play Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, this is one of them old rivalry games, you know, from back in the Super Bowl days uh, when both teams was real good in the 80s and 70s, um, or well, 70s, really. Um, two story franchises. So, I mean, I wish I could go to this game, man, down over there in Pittsburgh. Quite sure the energy is going to be just 
you know, live there. It's going to be a lot of Dallas fans um, as well. But um, anyway, Pittsburgh is 3-1. and one. They lost their first game last week. Dallas is 2-2. Two and two. Now, the negative was over here, you know me, when it comes to Dallas, I'm just I'm not buying my team. Now, Parsons, he's hurt. He's not going to be playing. Demarcus Lawrence, he's hurt. He's not going to be playing. Um, you know, it's not like I'm scared of just a field passing it, but I feel like he just make plays. Or so I feel like he's going to do enough to win the game. Uh, um, it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. That Pittsburgh defense over there is, is amazing. TJ Watt, top three defensive player in the league to me. Uh, he's just amazing, man. He makes clutch plays, clutch sacks, strip, um, strip sacks at the end of the game. He's just an awesome player, and I just feel like the Pittsburgh defense will do enough and stop Dallas. We can't even run the ball. We just don't have a, a good offensive weapons um, skill set. Only thing we got is Lamb and sometimes Cooks. You know, Zeke, he, he's good for 40, 50 yards. That's about it. Maybe not even that. Sometimes they don't feed you in the rock enough. So I just think Pittsburgh's going to win this game. Um, they're going to cover the two and a half. Hopefully I'm wrong. The total, 43. If I had to pick anything, I'll pick it under. But I feel like that's kind of high for Pittsburgh game. I feel like they, they totals used to be low 40s, uh, upper 30s. So it might be a, a little hard. It might be some point scoring. Is, um, Justin Fields might be put up at least 24 points in it, so it could go over. But the main play here is Pittsburgh. Um, total, like I said, I really can't call it. But let's go Dallas. But I just I don't see it happening, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, hopefully um, Steelers can go take care of business, man. I mean, yeah, man, this is one of them joints from, like, back in the day for, like, most of the people who listen to this is probably even born, you know what I mean? This the old mm-hmm. 1970 Terry Bradshaw type joint. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Them type games. I'm like, this is the Sunday night game? But I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the Sunday night game, but, yeah, man, hopefully the Steelers are going to take care of business and do the Eagles that favor. Cause we really need that. That's what we really need to win. Now, I mean, we need we need the Steelers to beat the Cowboys. We really do need the Steelers mm. to beat the Cowboys right now. So, um, hopefully Justin Fields will go out there. Not, not I mean, can, can can show up and show out. You know, you just get it done, man. Now, I mean, get it done. I don't care what type of win it is. I don't care. Uh, 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 I don't care. If it was an ugly game. I don't care what type of game. It was like, long as they win and dollars lose, I'm 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 good. So. You know what I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to end up skipping it's this. That simple. I'm probably going to end up skipping this one. You know what I'm saying, and getting some rest, and hopefully, when I wake up, you know what I mean, I I, I can wake up to the Steelers, letting the Steelers handle business, man. <clears throat> you know what I mean, yeah. shout out, shout out to Justin Fields, shout out to Mike Tomlin. You know what I mean, everybody else from the Steelers, man. <laughs> you know what I mean, do us yeah. that favor. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, now I mean Pennsylvania, up your fellow uh, statesmen out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah, I, I dig it. Well, I mean, we are gonna move on with this negativity, man. Yeah, I you, mean, you I hate it. First. You said, you know what I mean, you, so what's, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want, you don't want that about your own team. You know, yeah, that's why I'm trying you, to move you, on. That about your own team. I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> All year it's gonna be like this, man. All year, I just don't feel it, man. Paul, it's gonna be a rough year. But anyway, man, I'm gonna move all that negative topic, and we're gonna move on to the Monday night game. We got the New Orleans Saints going to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Chiefs are five point favorites. Totals forty two. Uh, right off the gate, total caught my eye. I feel like that's kind of low, forty two. So uh, I feel like maybe they're trying to tell us something. So I would lean towards the under. Um, as far as the actual game, we know that Rice was lost the receiver. He's going for the year. Damn. So obviously they lost a weapon. Yeah. Mm. I mean, but Hollywood Brown supposed to be back, though, man. Mm. 
So, so I mean, it's a shame, man. He was he was definitely coming to his own rights. Um, him and Mahomes definitely had a chemistry going. I guess I feel like they waiting for um, the end of the year to turn Kelsey up. I'm hearing different things. People speculating he might be out of shape and stuff. But obviously, Kelsey's not this looking the same this early this year. It's kind of the same issue early last year, and then the playoffs, he just tore it up. So I don't know. They're trying to reserve their energy, you know what I mean, throughout the year. But um, he needs to step it up now that Bryce is going. So I think I will lean towards the Chiefs because um, I just really can't go get from home too much. Um, I think they'll win a the game. Total, I'm leaning towards the under. Hmm. Hmm. I think the Saints the Saints could win this one. Mm. Saints could win this game. I'm gonna go with the Saints. I understand Patty is Patty. He the best in the business, and they be fun, and they'll look like they'll be like sh- struggling and and staggering through the whole game, and they'll just find a way to win. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where they, the whole game they just like struggling and then they just find a way to win. But I think New Orleans could win this game. I'm gonna go mm-hmm. with New Orleans. I'm gonna go with New Orleans. Like I said, I won't be surprised if they just staggering through the game and then they just at, at the end of the game just find a way to win because they that's just how the Chiefs are. They'll just find a way to win. They got the Patty the best in the business. They just find a way to win. But I think I think I think the Saints can win this game. I think the Saints can mm. win this game. Now, I mean, I don't see the Saints going undefeated the whole season. They're going to lose. They're going to lose sooner or later. I think mm-hmm. they. I, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Saints. I'm gonna go with the Saints. I like it. I like it. We definitely need. I mean, you know, each week is always surprises, and I definitely, you know, I can see that happening. You know, Derek Carr, they have to get back on track. So, I mean, Monday night, put on the show. Hey, right back in the thick of things. But, uh, yeah, that's it, man. That's the last game of the week right there. Yeah, man. Um, Like you said, man, uh, thank y'all for y'all love and support. You know what I mean? Thank y'all for the views going up. You know what I mean? Up and up and up. We appreciate that, man. Please like, rate, review, share. Shout out to love y'all giving us. You know what I mean? Because we now... Not just put the episodes up. Now we put the clips. Now I mean the clips is also doing well. Um, yeah, man, appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, everything starts with Ernie Nice Podcast. Please like, rate, review, share, subscribe, all of that, man. Um, make sure you go check out Ern. Um, he uh, recaps the Eagles games. Now I'm saying every week. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all show him some love. Now I mean, listen to that. Like, rate, review, share that. Um, like I said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We appreciate y'all, man. Like you say, like you say, man, bet with y'all head, not over it. Ern said he gonna start putting the um the disclaimer in. Now I'm saying before the episode even <laughs> start, I see we're gonna have to actually do that. You know what I mean? Like you said, man, bet with your head, not over it. Don't bet nothing that you can't afford to lose. And um like I said, man, if y'all seriously got need need some help, if y'all got a serious gambling problem, don't gamble, man. Go get the help. You know what I mean? Here, you know what I mean? We just be doing it for fun, man. Don't don't be out there gambling stuff for something that you can't afford to lose. So, you got anything to say before we get about it here? Nah, man. Um, just go Phillies, man. Play all time. And yeah. that's basically it. Thanks, thanks again for the support. And um, I appreciate everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I said, yeah, man. Go Phillies, man. Hopefully we can get it done. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy now in South Philly, man. It's, yeah, yeah, it's going to be crazy. It, yeah, it's going. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to start being cra- getting crazy down here. But anyway, man, uh, appreciate y'all. You <laughs> know what I mean? Thanks for the love. You know what I mean? Thank you, bro. I appreciate doing the show with you. You know what I'm saying? The people love it, and I like doing it. It's fun doing it, man. So you know, I'll I'll, I'll see you next week. All right, man. I'll talk to you. Be safe. All right, you too. All right. <laughs>